now we're going to demonstrate the use of the macerator toilet. So it's a flush air toilet system, it's as simple as pressing the blister switch. Now it's not a designated volume flush, it's just as long as we've actually got that switch, switch pressed down. So this is our blister switch here for flushing the toilet, as you can see. It engages the flush for as long as you've got the blister switch held down. Now with our toilet system, it's a full chemical free toilet. So nothing to nothing on the inside for cleaning like vinegar or bicarb soda or anything like that because it'll affect the seals in the toilet. Um, you can use biodegradable earth products and that's it. Totally chemical free. We're going to attach our hose to our outlet. It's at the front of the trailer on the passenger side. Safely secure the cam, cam lock. We then place the end in the dump point or wherever you're going to dump the toilet. What I'll do now is I'll open up the ball valve, which will allow anything to come through. And then go into our front boot, open up our black logs, open up the handle. The lid will be secured by the spring. And on the inside, on the right hand side, you will see there's a switch. We flick the switch. And this activates the macerator pump. Whilst pumping the waste from the black tank, you'll be able to view the clear pipe on the dumping pipe. What this does, enables you to see what's coming through and what's getting pumped out. When the water disappears and you don't see anything coming through, then you know the tank is empty. So what we'll do then is we'll come back into the front boot and we will turn the pump off. Once we've pumped the black tank and it's empty, what we'll do now is we'll close the ball valve completely. This will enable us now to get in, open up the cam lock, remove the pipe, and then we put on our dust cover. In the maintenance kit we supply, we also issue you with a flush back adapter. And what this enables you to do, whilst pumping out the black tank, if you are occurring any problems with blockages, enables you to attach a mains pressure tap to this. It is you fit a hose pipe, turn the tap on, but you've got to ensure that the ball valve is actually open. If there's any blockages, what it will do, the mains pressure water will blow it back from here, down the line, back into the black tank. What we'll do is once we've done that, we will close the valve again, release this, and then you will attach your dumping pipe. Go into your front boot, switch on the switch, and any blockages will now be gone, and then the water or the waste will flow constantly through the dump outlet. Next to your dump point, you'll also see there's a flush line. Taking out the dust cover, attaching a hose pipe, which can also be attached to the main pressure water. What that will do is flush this line completely and turn clean water into your black tank. Also at the front of the trailer is our manual dump line for the toilet system. So you release the cam lock like we did at the front. You can attach your hose or a bucket or just drop it wherever it's going. Enables you to open up the ball valve and any waste in the black tank will drain automatically via gravity. At the rear of the trailer, you will also, also see a flush line. Now this flush line will come in handy if you are struggling to pump the water from the toilet into the black tank. So what we do is we attach our garden hose again, which is also attached to mains pressure water. We open up our valve. Turn on the tap for say 30 seconds, let the water flow from here back into the black tank. Once you finish, turn off the water and close the valve. Now next to this is also your grey water manual outlet. It's got a cam lock on like the other valves, we open it. Whilst using the shower or the internal sink, any water that goes down the drain will flow and release from here.